Over 110 million Americans, including Texans, are facing something straight out of a sci-fi movie. An Arctic blast is hitting hard with temperatures plunging. Many people are asking the same question. Are the power grids ready for this? Or is it 2021 all over again? But what exactly is an Arctic blast? Basically, an Arctic blast is a massive wave of super cold air coming down from the North Pole. And it's tied up with the polar vortex. That's a huge swirl of cold air hanging out around the Arctic. When we say it's cold, we mean dangerously cold. Think temperatures that make you go, no way, it can't be that cold. Oh, but it is. The other morning, I woke up to negative one degree Fahrenheit. So that gives you an idea. This intense cold is more than just a chill. It disrupts everyday life, closing schools, turning roads risky, and almost requiring you to stay indoors. More than causing discomfort, this severe cold strains the power grid. Even renewables like wind turbines can have a hard time in that kind of temperature, which means bigger chances of power outages. And while this cold may not always bring heavy snow, even slight icing can make roads, bridges, and overpasses dangerous. Now let's turn to a big question. Why does Texas, of all places, seem to get hit hard when the cold temperature drops? Texas, the energy giant that it is, is ironically vulnerable because of its own doing. Can you believe that? When it comes to electricity, Texas is on its own. They've got a deregulated electrical grid separate from the rest of the United States, so they cannot just turn to other states for a quick energy fix when there's a power crunch, like a big freeze. Also, a typical Texan home is not built for freezing temperatures. And as soon as it gets cold, everyone's heaters go into overdrive and the electricity demand just skyrockets. And though Texas loves its natural gas, their natural gas system was stuck like a deer in the headlights during the 2021 Arctic freeze. And how about all of those wind turbines in Texas? They're great, but when the weather got very cold, they also froze. Now let's break down what deregulation means for Texas, which happens to use the most electricity of all the states in the country. Deregulation opened the market to more competition and it was supposed to bring lower prices, but right after it started in the 2000s, electricity rates increased significantly. But it also meant that utilities couldn't turn to outside providers to supplement their power. And because of deregulation, Texas electricity prices depend greatly on supply and demand. This was clear in the 2021 winter storm when high demand skyrocketed prices. Some Texans with power paid through the nose, like $450 per day through the nose. I don't know what's worse, losing power, freezing, or paying that kind of money for electricity for one day. Perhaps because of deregulation, the Texas power grid was caught with its pants down during the Arctic freeze. But now they've been busy beefing up its power grid since 2021. Over 4.5 million homes and businesses in Texas plunged into darkness for days during the 2021 Arctic blast. Now with temperatures dropping, there's concern brewing. People remember that misery. No heat, no light, just shivers and worries. This time around, it's predicted to be a little bit different. The cold we're discussing now is not expected to stick around as long as it did in 2021. And unlike then, the Arctic blast may bring less snow and ice, putting less strain on the grid, we hope. After the 2021 disaster, the Texas Public Utility Commission required power plants to winterize, prepping them for extreme cold. The Electric Reliability Council of Texas inspected nearly 1,800 facilities to ensure these plants were ready to handle severe conditions. The state significantly increased its battery storage capacity, deploying 18 times more power than it had in 2021. As a result, ERCOT expressed confidence in the grid's preparedness for upcoming cold challenges. 
with Arctic blasts turning states into freezers. Can battery backup or solar panels help keep you safe and warm? You would think if you have a battery installed, you're good to go. But that's not always the case. You're good unless the battery you installed is only for battery storage. A battery backup, whether portable or installed, offers electricity stored from the grid or solar panels, providing electricity during blackouts to keep your home running. For instance, the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra, a popular portable battery option, can power up to 90 kilowatt hours when multiple units are stacked together. But do note that backup power is limited to whatever is stored in the battery, so it's key to use this energy wisely. For example, in an outage situation, you'd be better off keeping warm with an electric blanket instead of running a small space heater. With home batteries stepping up as a reliable but limited emergency power source, the next question is how to extend your battery life with solar panels. Over 217,000 homes have installed solar in the state of Texas as of 2022. Can this surge in solar power be the key to preventing another energy crisis in the Lone Star State? I want to thank you for inviting me to the Lone Star State. A report from the Environment America Research and Policy Center highlights the significant role of rooftop solar during the 2021 Texas power crisis. It reveals that rooftop solar could have provided enough electricity to cover most power shortages during 13 critical days. Even on the two days with the biggest supply demand gap, rooftop solar might have filled 40% of that shortfall. This leads us to an essential aspect of solar panels their ability to generate power locally. By doing so, they lessen the reliance on centralized power plants, offering a more direct and efficient way to supply energy. The term for this is distributed energy. The impact of solar power in Texas is more profound when we look at its growth over the past decade, a whopping 123-fold increase. Under similar conditions to the 2021 freeze, Texas could now produce about 70% more solar power than before. Despite this impressive growth, there's still untapped potential. Many rooftops suitable for solar installations remain unused. These could add 97.8 gigawatts of clean power to the state of Texas. With improved grids, more solar power, and batteries in play, Texas is gearing up better than before. But only time will tell how these measures hold up against Mother Nature's test. Did you face power outages in the past Arctic blast? Drop your experiences in the comments below, and let's try to learn from one another. And if you think we've earned it, hit the subscribe button, would you? Now check this out. If you have solar without batteries, you still lose power in an outage. So if you're thinking about batteries, check out our video on battery backup versus battery storage to learn more about how a battery may or may not set you up for success.